My name is Firoz and I'm the co-founder of World School of Bangladesh. What does it mean to be smart in 2020 and how is it different now? As parents, educators and mentors, what kind of skills we have to develop in our students so that they become successful in a global digital economy at a time when the world is going through tremendous progress in information and communication technology, at a time when the world is hyper-connected and hyper-globalized. I will talk about five different skills that we must develop in our students so that they become competent and successful in global digital economy. For the convenience of remembering, these five skills can also be said as five C's. The first skill, critical thinking. Now, more than ever, we need to build independent critical thinker. The students will have to be able to think on their feet. During the industrial revolution, we needed to train students to repeat the same task over and over again. Therefore, the need for critical thinking was there, but it was not so crucial the way it is now. So the first skill we have to build in our students is the students should be able to think independently and critically. Two, creativity. We are living in the fourth industrial revolution. At a time like this, pretty much anything that is a standard can be automated. And that is why a lot of professions are getting automated. Machines and computer softwares are replacing humans in many, many cases. Therefore, we have to train our children in a way where they can maximize their creative talent. They can tap onto their creative capacity so that their roles, so that their contribution cannot be easily automated. We have to make sure that our students, our future generations are getting sufficient opportunity to exercise their creativity. Three, collaborative capacity. Due to unprecedented progress in information and communication technology, the geographical distance and the time difference don't matter anymore. Our students will have to work globally, which means maybe somebody lives in Toronto, but they will probably have to collaborate with somebody in Brazil, in India, Bangladesh and different parts of the world. Because of this, we have to make sure that our students build the right kind of attitude and leadership capacity so that they can successfully collaborate with people from different cultural and socioeconomic background. Four, communication skills. Now more than ever, communication has become very complex. We're not only communicating with people in multiple languages, we are also communicating with people from different cultural and socioeconomic background. Which means, in order to be an expert communicator, we have to learn more than a language. So, we have to pay attention that our students begin to develop the nuances and a very sophisticated understanding of communication skills from very early on so that they can become successful communicator in their life. Number five, computing skill. It doesn't matter what trade your students take in future. It doesn't matter if they become an anthropologist, sociologist, artist, musician, or engineer. They will have to be competent in computing skills. We live in a time where the whole world is becoming digital. And if our students are not competent in computer language, it will become a serious setback. And therefore, our students will have to be trained in computing skills from very early on. As we say in World School of Bangladesh, learn locally, but be competent globally. Now, what does it mean to be competent globally? In order to be competent globally, we have to build these five skills that I have covered in this video. Now, if you're a parent or an educator or a mentor, Please have conversations with your students or your children about these five core competence skills so that they become a successful participant in global digital economy. Now, if we build these five competences in our students, we will build these young people as successful participants in global digital economy. Thanks for watching.